Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday morning. Welcome to a week in my life vlog. It is so dark. It is currently 6.40. I'm about to head out to go work out. I've been a little bit off my fitness game lately. I just haven't been as consistent as I normally am. So yesterday I scheduled and I put it in my Google Calendar every single day when I'm going to work out. That's what I normally do and that's what keeps me um, kind of like disciplined in my workout routine. So I'm doing this like core workout this morning. Anyway, I'm gonna head off. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog. If you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. Love you guys so much and let's get started. Guys, it feels like how it did when I first moved here in February because it's cold and raining in the morning when I'm going to work out. Also, I cannot, I was just thinking like so much has changed since I even moved back to Dallas. Like I cannot believe how much my life has changed. And then also it's not even been a full year. So like, what? <sighs> that um, workout class was humbling to say the least everyone. I do not know what happened, but I have lost all strength that I had. Obviously, I was just in my be the best shape I've ever been in when I was doing hot Pilates every day in LA, but I've still been working out a ton since moving back to Dallas, and like I had good workouts. I take two weeks off, everyone, and like I literally died in that class. Like I couldn't even do half of it, and like maybe it's because it's early and I'm not really awake yet. Um, it was very humbling to say the least. I used to be the person in the class that like I knew I could do everything and it was like no problem and now I'm like, oh my god, get me out of here. So the dishes and I'm making breakfast. It's rainy and gloomy out and so I'm just so happy. We'll get to this in a second. Today I have two recordings, a lot of editing, computer stuff, whatever. I'm not filming today but I think I will be filming tomorrow. Anyways, I got this book because I saw it at Barnes the other day. It's Gucci Mane. It is like the perfect little small coffee table book or even for my dresser. Like it looks so cool, but I'm planning on just stacking this with um, another like black book or something. It's really cool. I also found this book, it's like Icons. It's a cool coffee table book. I'm just looking for new ones. Um, so I'll have this link down below, but I think I'm gonna put this on my coffee table. All right, I ate breakfast, I showered. I am feeling very weak this morning. I'm just slow. I need to drink coffee. I just need to be back to being fit to where I was just so much stronger in workouts. Like, I cannot believe. I mean, also I was early, but like still guys, I'm appalled. I have a new package from Laura Mercier that I got last week and I was reminded about it. I totally forgot. I really want to try out the tinted moisturizer. So that's what we're going to do today. Just gonna do a really light makeup look. I also was gifted their Perfect Cream Multitasking Moisturizer. So, oh, it feels really good on your skin. Like, actually, really good. First impressions, I really like the packaging. I'm looking for things that, I'm looking for a product that doesn't leave my skin so, like, disco ball-y. Like, I want it to be um, glowy, but also, I don't know how to describe it. It's raining, so the lighting in here isn't the best, but I do think that I like it. So far, so good. I do really like it. Those of you guys who wear this product, the tinted oil, face oil, how do you get it to where your skin doesn't look like too oily? Like, take me through your entire step-by-step -step process. I, like, actually am dressed how I dressed in high school at this point. I'm not proud but I'm comfortable. All right, I finished my makeup. I like it, it's really simple. The lighting is just so off right now because it's so gloomy out. All right guys, I have my coffee, my books, I'm gonna do my morning reading, and then I have a recording at 11. I still have not fixed this paint. It is what it is, guys. My groceries just got delivered. I ordered them yesterday to be delivered this morning. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, I'm about to record my first recording for the day. So this is exciting, this is for the living room, this is my faith-based Patreon. If you guys wanna join, I upload stuff there all the time. I'm actually working so hard on it right now. So if you guys are interested, go join. All right, everyone, I just made a chicken label from home. This is my favorite order at Zinc. 
in Hollywood, in Hollywood, what? In West Hollywood, but in LA, just in general. It's my, one of my favorite restaurants. It's one of my favorite dishes. I made a reel, so if you guys want the recipe, it's a really easy lunch to make from home, especially when you're like working from home. I don't want to like actually cook, cook, and this is really easy to put together. So go check out that reel on my Instagram, but I'm just so proud. All right, guys, I'm done with my recordings for the day. I think I'm actually going to head downstairs. I need to work on the living room. I'm doing a whole plan for mental health for our next, like, Bible study thing. So I need to finish that because we're filming that tomorrow. I can't, like, what is wrong right here, guys? That is so annoying. I just, like, honestly, guys, I am so tired today. Like, I'm just really exhausted. I think I just need to lay on the couch and then I'll get stuff done. I also need to read... A book because I'm having the author on next week so I need to like read a chapter a day okay guys taking a little break my sister picked me up and we dropped by Starbucks I got an iced pumpkin spice latte I didn't realize they give this to you with like whipped cream I, like, I'm so upset about it I'm I know sorry. I wasn't even thinking about like, that I or else I would have said no way like, today apparently good morning everyone it is Tuesday morning I am currently about to get some work done. I let myself have a really chill morning because I just felt like I really needed it. I started reading this new book. Oh, this woman, or well, her agent reached out. I was pitched this woman for my podcast that's all about like attachment styles and all of this stuff like relationally. And guys, it is like mind blowing. I was into attachment styles before, like I just kind of learned about them over the summer, but oh my gosh like it is so good so i'm recording with her in like a week so i'm just trying to read her book right now and i'll sure i'll talk about it soon i actually just sent it to a friend because i'm like you need to read this like literally right now i'm only on chapter two i'm really excited about that basically there's like four attachment styles or are there three i don't remember there's like the secure anxious and avoidant and i'm definitely the anxious anxious attachment styles are always attracted to avoidance and vice versa but really you need to secure but even more than that your attachment styles it's not like a set personality test it's like you can learn how to become a secure attachment thing a lot of it has to do with childhood it is so interesting i'll link the book oh wait actually the book's not out yet the book isn't out yet so i can't link it yet but guys like this episode is probably gonna be my favorite episode i ever do so Today I need to do school. I have a lot of work. I need to do I have a uh, Meeting with your media and then after that Brynn is coming over and we are shooting the entire next month of the living room content We're doing it on mental health again If you guys are not aware the living room is my like faith-based patreon I'm really excited I think I'm just gonna like play something and just get some work done for the next few hours because I desperately need to for lunch, I just made myself another chicken lay bowl. I somehow only got one avocado when I ordered eight on Instagram, so I need to go to the store. We are back in the same location. I have sent a bunch of podcast stuff in for this week's episode. I'm finalizing a lot of things, and I also did a school assignment. Wow. Currently, I have someone over who is doing, I'm like now being quiet, now I'm whispering. Um, he's installing the kitchen hardware on my kitchen cabinet and switching out all my doorknobs. I'm very excited for that. Pretty soon, it'll look so different. Adding hardware to your cabinets just makes them look so much nicer. Waiting to get on a Zoom meeting. So fun. I just got off a call with Dear Media. It was with pretty much the entire network. It was just a Zoom call, obviously. So since this week in my life vlog is more of like a work week because I have a lot of work to do, I feel like there's not that much to vlog because I just sit at my desk or you know, my couch, wherever I'm at. We had a meeting and we were just going over like ads and kind of brand strategy and things like that. Podcasting is actually about to be a billion dollar industry by 2021. So there's just a lot of like potential and opportunity there. I'm actually a lot more like business savvy and oriented than like maybe my vlogs seem. So if you guys have questions like that, always let me know. I finally got to set up my passion planner on my um, iPad. And I started yesterday, so like this is what I did for digital planning. Hold on, I think I can probably show this better. If you guys have watched my vlogs, you guys know that I am a diehard um, passion planner person, or I was before I went fully digital, and now I just do Google Calendar because I have too many people involved in my schedule now, like too many people that I work with, management, networks, all that, so that stuff's just like sent to me. I started trying, and I definitely do like it. It is my favorite digital planner that I've used, but I just don't know... I'm not sure if I'll go back. I honestly probably should have gotten the daily because I think the daily would help me more because Google Calendar, I do the weekly view. So I think I probably should have gotten daily, which I might actually um, buy and then give you an update on. But I haven't actually like finished all this stuff, obviously, at all. I have way more than this <laughs> on my weekly schedule. But yeah, I do like it. I did find it useful. I'm going to try to look for a little bit longer and let you guys know what I think. 
All right guys, I have some beautiful home updates for you. So sad news is I found out my kitchen renovation is gonna cost so much money today. Good news is that I had this kitchen hardware installed. These are actually from Amazon, I'll link them below. It's really inexpensive. I had someone come over from TaskRabbit to install and it just looks so much better. I'm gonna get rid of this backsplash now because I know what I want so I don't need this fake backsplash up anymore. It's really bothering me. All right, I also replaced the doorknobs throughout my entire house. So just looks better. They used to just have these like silver ones that just came with the house and this just fits my vibe more. Guys, I put a coat on because it is 40 degrees out. What a beautiful day we have. Also, I got this new sweater. I forgot to show you guys. It came in the mail yesterday. I don't know, I don't remember where it's from. I saw it on Ashley Robertson's Instagram and I bought it immediately. I just thought it was cute, so. Thank you. Tis the season. Uh, Brenna and I are a really good representation. Actually, I'm, I am you, but Brenna has already, it's today's October 27th, I believe, and she's already moved on to the peppermint mocha yeah. latte. Um, the pumpkin latte had its moment. It did have its moment, and that but was in peppermint August. Peppermint mocha is, <laughs> My roommate walked in today and she was like, Brenna, oh my gosh, are you playing Christmas music? I said, no, but it is Lauren Daigle's hymn covers. So basically, it basically yes. it is. It's like you are a real gray area. I so I love Lauren Daigle. I so see you just loving Lauren Daigle. There's a podcast you need to listen to. Um, it's Annie. Uh, do you know Annie F. Downs? Are you familiar with her? Nope. Okay, well, I think you would absolutely like adore her. She's one of the greatest people ever, but she has a podcast with Lauren Daigle. It's one of my favorite episodes Ooh. ever. But it's so funny because in just like the conversation that Annie is having with Lauren, it just reminds me of what you always say to me, what my friend Rebecca always says to me. My friend Rebecca shared that episode with me because she said the same thing. All right, guys, we're about to record for the living room an episode. And then we're also going to record a whole new Bible study series, which is exciting. We have this beautiful candle on display. Also, the Sephora sale is going on, so I made a whole video with Sephora deals, so go check that out. But anyways, um, this is the Middle Age Devo book I've been doing. I literally can't make it up. Like, do you think I'm 50 now that you see this book? But it's Thanks. really good. I just did a devotional. It was for women um, journeying over the hill. That's not real. Where did it's you even get this from? It was somebody gave it to me. <laughs> Hi guys, so it is currently 7.15. Brenna just left. We have been recording and filming for the past four hours for the living room, which I'm really excited about all the videos and podcasts that we recorded. At this time, the podcast is live and the new Bible study series on mental health will be up, I think a week from now. We're currently in one on identity. Anyways, I love my new hardware. I decided to take off the stickers that I had there just because I was trying to see if I wanted a certain color for my backsplash. I did get the quote back for what I wanted and it is so expensive. So I don't know what I'm gonna do because I am in the middle of getting a new car right now and that's not really necessarily the problem. The problem more so with the kitchen is one, I need to change what I want because it's too expensive and two, it would take a week to do and I don't really have a week to where I can afford having my kitchen messed up, especially with December just being such a busy month with Vlogmas and everything. So, I'm trying to figure that out. But anyways, I'm about to take the dogs on a walk. It's 7 p.m. I'm going to, ooh, responding to my manager right now with a bunch of emails. I'm loving the new book that I've been doing and like the workbook and I don't know. My dogs are literally gonna be the end of me. Okay guys, you're in a cabinet, obviously, but I am, ooh. See, my parents told me when I got these cabinets painted to immediately get hardware on the cabinets because one, they'll look better, and two, it won't chip away the paint. And now there's all these chips on my paint because I didn't listen to my parents, but you know, what's new? Anyways, I'm going to make my liquid IV my nighttime one. This one really helps me sleep. I go to bed, honestly, really early. Like, I go to bed, I'm in bed probably every night by like eight. It's just like the life I live, you know? I have my beautiful large mason jars, which I can link down below. These are great and they make me drink more water. Update on my jug. I really only tried it two days and I failed, so maybe I should try again. I did get one of those like gallon water jugs, but I just haven't been doing that great with it. This is the sleep multiplier. I have a discount code for Liquid IV. I'll have it down below. I don't remember what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's for 20% off. I love Liquid IV. Like when you try it, you just get addicted to it. Like I just am obsessed with it. I will say the sleep isn't my favorite flavor, but it definitely does help. That's fixed in the background. It's been freezing and rainy also. I'm dressed like I would dress my sophomore year of high school, but it's been freezing and raining 
all week in Fitz and Coco are not loving that when they go outside. And Good morning guys. Happy Wednesday. It is 8 a.m. I'm going to go do my treadmill routine. I'm putting you guys in some onions. I had to floss these in my car and it is way too cold to go out there. I have my heater on full blast right now and I put it on yesterday for the first time this season and my fire alarm has gone off twice. For some reason, I just never even thought about the fact that like one day when I'm taking them out, it's gonna be like 30 degrees. So cold, gonna rain all day. Anyway, so I'm gonna go do my treadmill routine and I don't know where my water bottle is. Oh no, I'm out of, oh, that sucks. I'm out of avocados. I don't know how this got to my house, but I'm not gonna question it. I feel like I should be drinking hot chocolate right now. I'm being so dramatic. I love the cold weather actually. I just never have to take dogs out in the cold weather normally. Cause we either have a yard or I've been in LA. Liquid IV, this is the energy multiplier. It's green, but it's great. That's how I cut off coffee out of my, not diet, but out of my routine for the longest time. I think the only reason I've been putting coffee lately is for the fall drinks and also because it's hot. It was hard for me to drink coffee this summer. It felt too heavy. Fitz is looking for the camera. Fitz, come back, boy. Oh, you are so handsome. You're the most handsome of them all. All right, guys, I just finished my workout. Um, 12, 3, 30, if you guys didn't know. I got it from Lauren Geraldo. I want to say she invented it. If you guys didn't know, 12, 3, 30 is a treadmill routine that I got from Lauren Geraldo. So you do incline of 12, speed of 3 for 30 minutes. Let's go. Um, it is so much harder than you would think. And it's really good because you like lean out and stuff. I haven't really been doing it in the past few weeks, but it's definitely something I want to implement again because I got this treadmill literally to do treadmill routines and I actually really enjoy it. Good morning, guys. I just showered and got ready. I'm actually going to get brunch with a friend. We pretty much do this weekly. This is what I'm wearing today. I just got ready. I'm gonna show you guys on Instagram Reels how I do my hair because I like perfected it with my Dyson. Wearing this boys lie set, just a coat. I actually changed out of Uggs, who's proud of me, normal jewelry. Did my makeup. I'm gonna film this afternoon, so I wanted to like actually get ready. And then I'm gonna wear just my normal bag I've been using lately. Hey guys, this is my outfit. Really cozy, um, comfy. I got ready because when I get back, I'm gonna film. I'm actually gonna switch my phone case to my Incipio one just because it's sleek and I just wanna change it out. I work with them in my podcast, so I'll have a link down below. They're eco friendly phone cases and iPod cases. Um, oh my gosh, I love this. But they're really, really safe. This is not sponsored, but if you guys are interested in a new phone case, I will have the discount code below. Guys, oh my gosh. The morning that I have had just in the past, like, literally 20 minutes. Okay, so like, long story short, guys, I needed to get air put in my tires because there was just a big, like, temperature drop. So, you know, that affects your tires, whatever. And my car kept dinging, so I was like, okay, I need to do that before I like drive all the way to Waxahachie. Literally, the town is literally called Wax named Waxahachie, guys. I, it's like really funny. I grew up in North Dallas, so I grew up in McKinney, so it's like far away from there, but now I have so many friends who live there, um, and it's just like so funny. Every time I'm like Waxahachie, Texas, like it's just, it's the cutest place. But anyways, I went to, this is my fifth place that I went to to get air put in my tires, and you know what? Guess who the trusty air pumper was? As always, it was Firestone. You guys watched me when I lived in LA during my college days and I just befriended the whole um, staff at that Firestone on Ventura in Studio City because I am a car hypochondriac. Like I always think there's something wrong and there really isn't anything wrong. But in the meantime, I made friends with all of them and they would just like do everything for me and we were just besties. So went to this one and they were the only ones who really came through today. So anyways, I'm going to Dove's Nest in Waxahachie. My pastor and her sister and everyone are like obsessed with it and that's who I'm going with. So, so I'm excited. I've heard great things about Dove's Nest, so I'm excited to go. I've been listening to a great little fall playlist I've made. Um, I'm feeling just good about everything, but I really want biscuits and gravy because it is cold today. Like it is no joke at all. And it's rainy and I just deserve some sort of comfort breakfast. That sounds so good. To like what campaigns and holiday are really looking for. Alright guys, I'm on a Zoom call right now with my management. It's everyone there, but I'm just gonna listen to the audio because obviously I'm in the car and this was like a last minute meeting. So 
I'm back home. I'm gonna get this out. I went to brunch and then I went or I had a Zoom call that I just listened to. So that was good. I was working on some like to know it stuff. I need to film my video because of the Sephora sale that I wanted to do, like my favorites from Sephora. Also, I need to link some stuff in my like to know it profile. If you guys don't follow me there, you need to. Um, that's where I link literally everything and like all of my I mean I link as much as I can in videos But like my Instagram I just have post up uh, that's like <laughs> you know, the Amazon, Hey stop like Amazon things that I use for my house also with the Sephora sale It's like things that I think are worth it things like that, you know, so follow me there That's what I do. I'm sure you guys see it on Instagram. I link to there all the time All right, everyone I am like actually losing my mind because my neighbors are somehow still getting hardwood installed and like I got the same thing. I don't know how or why this is taking so long, but and like it's fine. I'm not that I'm never like the neighbor to complain, but it's just always when I'm filming and recording. Anyways, I'm putting my shoes on because I need to go to Target to pick up something for a deal. I actually am filming my first TikTok brand deal. Um, I'm working with Verizon, so I need to pick up something from Target and then come back and film that. I just filmed my Sephora favorites video. I want to edit that tonight. I think the rest of the day. And night will honestly be working just because I want to get this stuff done and sent in as early as possible I've been working on a lot of like like to know it stuff to have all that linked and a lot of stuff with the Sephora sale So if you guys haven't shot the Sephora sale yet watch my video I share all of my must-haves and stuff in case you guys are shopping it so I absolutely love this set. It's my favorite boys lie set I think and it says perfect match here really cute. It's available on revolve. I'll link it below and my headbands that I have I got like five or six for under $20, I want to say it was like $14 or $15, and some of these are sold individually for like $12, so don't buy those, buy what I have, I'll have them linked down below. It has just been very chilly recently. Anyways, I need to go to Target anyways because I'm supposed to pick up and look at ornaments because my mom is losing her mind that I haven't picked mine out yet because we're doing my tree next week and I'm going to be away this weekend and blah 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 and she's like literally is like a professional christmas tree decorator like that's actually like what they're doing business wise right now so i need to get it together so i need to go to target for the deal but also so my mother doesn't disown me anyways putting this back on gonna grab my coat leaving again heading out everyone i need to blow out these candles my gosh i don't know if you guys saw that just now but that was really quite the fight with that candle Anyways, I really like this Incipio case. It's really clean, sleek. This is just like really my perfect just go-to outfit for fall. I'll show you guys just once again because I'm really loving it. But uh, ignore my dresser. Um, it's a mess. But Yeezys, the best set ever. Just some jewelry, a nice coat. That is, in fact, my thing. All right, guys. I'm walking into the Target at Preston Center. It's such a weird... It's just such a weird place. I mean, it's nice and it's great, but it just feels like you're, I don't even know how to describe it. If anyone understands what I'm saying, please explain it to me. Thank you. Target. Okay guys, in the fall and winter, I actually want creamer, even though I normally drink, I don't know if this is gonna be good. I'm gonna try it. I normally drink my coffee black, but it just sounds good right now. They don't have hazelnut, I don't see it anywhere. So this is a city Target, so there's not much. I barely got any Christmas stuff. I decided to stick with this one because it's at least almond milk. But for some reason in the fall and winter, I actually want like creamer. You guys, literally no way. They're already here. I'm getting these for next week. So I'm prepared, you know? Okay, what I came here for originally was an errand. I was running for a brand, but it wasn't here. So it's this whole fiasco, so I can't film this thing today. It's okay. It's just like kind of messing up some of the work plans. But anyways, I ended up making a Target trip. Oh, my tree's already poking out. It's okay. Anyways, I actually love this Target. It's definitely like city Target. It's just so nice. It feels like you're in shops in like Beverly Hills. It's like how this center feels. All right, I'm back home. That trip was honestly unnecessary at this point. My phone is at 1%. But I did get wrapping paper for Christmas. I'm very excited to start wrapping my Christmas presents and putting them under my tree next week. So, I haven't actually bought anyone a Christmas present yet, but I need to do it earlier because my family is doing Christmas really early this year. So, I just thought this wrapping paper was so cute. So, I got two rolls of that. I just figured these would be really good to have on hand because I always say I want them and I never have them. I got Hawaiian bread for the sandwich I'm about to make, which... This is the only bread I could find. I don't know where what was happening at this Target, but look at this. Guys, this is pulled chicken. 
Um, I'm a true Texan. Barbecue. I was gonna cook tonight, but no more. Exciting paper clips, highlighters, method all purpose cleaner. Oh, I got some Christmas decor from the dollar section. I thought this stuff was cute. I actually don't know where it's gonna go, so I'm just gonna keep it there until my mom comes and helps me next week. I'm not a huge creamer girl. And I normally just drink coffee black, and also it's just one of those things where it's just like so much added sugar for no reason. However, fall and winter, I just always want creamer. Another Christmas tree, sweet potato fries, frozen, and avocado. That's exciting, guys. I'm gonna make one of those sandwiches, and then I'm actually going to get back to work, even though I'm not filming that deal anymore, but I still have other things that I Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. I am on my way to grab some breakfast. Am I on the right street? Yes, I am. Okay. I don't know what it is about the fall, but like I need a fall drink every single day. It's a problem. Okay, so today's Thursday. I have a recording with Amber of Culture Hype in Dallas, which I have therapy at one, and then I just have computer work afterwards. You never know how you're gonna leave therapy feeling, you know? So I, on Thursdays, always just make sure it's like computer work and stuff and schoolwork or whatever, rather than like a recording or filming or something that I need to be more like on for, you know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. have a good day. I'm actually leaving my house, guys. This is exciting. Okay, guys, I finished my recording. It was great. I'm going to vote now, so I'm excited. I'm excited to vote. I think it's gonna be a hopefully great experience. My last experience voting was actually like awful, not gonna lie. Guys, I just voted. I'm wearing my sticker. I feel pretty cool. Okay, so it's very important to vote. I don't know when this vlog will be up, so it might be too late, but it's a very cool thing and it's very important, especially this election, that we go vote. It's really easy to think that like your one vote doesn't matter and it does. I, along with so many of you guys, am really, really worried about this election. Anyways, I just wanted to say voting is so important and a lot of you guys have been asked, like saying to talk about it more and I feel like I talk about it all the time, especially on Instagram, but maybe I haven't made it clear on like my YouTube channel, my sister's face telling me it's so important to go vote. So I have an hour until therapy, so it's kind of dumb to like go home, but also like where do I go, you know? So I decided I'm going to go to Highland Park Village. Oh my gosh, I'm driving through the city right now. Dallas's skyline is like so beautiful. Anyways, I'm going to Highland Park Village and I'm gonna stop at Royal Blue Grocery, which honestly, it's just comparable to like Air One, but I think it's actually a little bit cooler than Air One. What a beautiful area. I'm not gonna bring my vlog camera in because I'm already gonna be, you know, filming, but I love Royal Blue. All right, I'm back home from therapy, um, but I did wanna show you guys what I picked up in anthropology. I don't know what it is about going to anthropology that just always makes me feel better, but this game is called the Confessions Game. Pretty similar to my We're Not Really Strangers game, which is right there. I love that one. My friends and I have already gone through all the cards and I know that there are other decks and stuff, like extension packs and stuff that I need to get. But um, I saw this and I thought it was cool. There's like different things, you roll a dice and there's different categories. I just love games like this because I love entertaining and hosting and stuff and they're just good to have on deck. Also, this one looks better in my house than the We're Not Really Strangers one does, but this one it's really cute. I'll link it down below. I pulled out one card from it and I loved the question. So I just feel good about it. All right, it is 3 at 15. I'm back home. I'm working. I changed into workout clothes because hopefully I'll do 12 through 30 at some point. Um, I think my dad is coming over hopefully soon or going to call me or something. But I made myself some coffee because I was tired and cold. I'm going to try out my new creamer that I got. Guys, this is the first shot. Who remembers back in the day in my vlogs like three or four years ago when I was such a creamer girl? Every morning I had a shot with creamer. When I would do my little devos and I went back to church, so cute. Anyways, that's a lot of creamer for someone who drinks black coffee now, so. Great, guys, awesome. Why is it separating? Okay, it's too hot right now, but it actually smells really good. All right, I'm now gonna go downstairs and work out. I've just been working on my laptop for the past few hours, but I'm going to go do 12, 3, 30 downstairs because I'm making sure I'm still working out every day this week and just, you know, taking care of myself. Why do I always say I made some water? I poured some water. Guys, look at how much better the kitchen looks. It's like unbelievable, right? Okay, I finished my workout. I feel great. My dad's here, but he's taking a business call upstairs. I just got a package from Isle of Paradise. You guys probably already know. Well, actually, I haven't shared this self-tanner. Okay, hey, like I was saying, I get the medium shade. I prefer, I really actually do like the water, but I prefer the mousse. I use the mitt and then I just put like 
a few drops of this into my moisturizer for my face and I love it I'll link it below it's actually sold at Sephora too so I'm sure it's probably on sale with a Sephora sale I would definitely check it out they also sent this cute little book guys isn't that just so sweet I love this good morning everyone so let me open the blinds more it is Friday morning the last day of this vlog I look insane like look at my hair right now so I self tanned last night I used the Isle of Paradise stuff and I love it and I cut my hair up like this after slept in it like this and I just I can't be bothered to fix it I am working out and then I'm gonna shower so like why would I do that I'm just at my house you know today is Friday I have like four calls to get on today and I want to edit this vlog and there's just a bunch of stuff that I need to do I woke up this morning I just did my Devo which I've really really been loving this Devotion book. I'll have it linked up. Oh, I'll have it linked down below. It's my middle-aged woman Joyce Meyer one. This is another thing, guys. This does not match. But this is what I'll be. This is what I'm gonna be wearing as I work out from home today because I don't feel like finding a jacket that matches because they're in the wash. This is also from Maritzia loungewear. It was always superior. It's just the best stuff ever. It's definitely pricey, but oh, I started a new book. Oh, I haven't even talked to you guys about what I've been reading this week. Now that I'm in this crazy outfit I finished an anonymous girl and I thought it was good I liked it I didn't hate the book but if I don't finish a book in like two three days tops it tells me that I don't like it that much slash I was busy and I was also reading another book it's like a non-fiction book so maybe that was it and also I think that if I just read more of a book in one sitting I think that I like it more I don't know it could be like some weird brain thing but anyways it was good I wasn't absolutely obsessed. And I wasn't obsessed with their other book either. Oh, why am I forgetting the name of it? That was everywhere this year. In New York. Everyone talked about it. I liked it, but I wasn't as obsessed as everyone else was. Like, I know Lauren loved that book, and I liked it, but I wasn't obsessed. So now I'm reading Eliza Starts a Rumor. Um, I've heard that one was like a fun little read. Guys, literally look at my outfit right now. So I'm starting that, and it was really cute. I'm on like 20% so far. I just started last night, and it was really cute. I also made myself some coffee with creamer. Isn't that so crazy, guys? Anyways, I'm gonna go do 12 through 30. I'm gonna answer emails and stuff on the treadmill. That's what's nice about 12 through 30 is that you die, but you're able to like answer emails and stuff as you're doing it, even though it's harder. Good morning, officially, guys. So I worked out, I showered, I FaceTimed TK for like an hour as I was working out. And that was great. I have quite a few calls today. First one is with my friend Ali. I actually have a call with Facebook, which is cool today for the podcast. Okay, I'm going home for the weekend. I really just want a weekend to do like pretty much nothing. Except for something exciting is happening. Comment if you can guess. But I wanted to just stay home this weekend because I have like three things in the next four days I need to be McKinney for. So I'm just going to go stay at my mom's house and have like a really chill weekend. Anyways, I'm going to hop on these calls soon, but I don't really have much to vlog today because my Matthew McConaughey book now is not arriving until I think this weekend. It keeps getting pushed back, but I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life vlog. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Love you and I will talk to you soon.